We've got the latest on this hurricane. The National Hurricane Center giving us hourly updates now as the storm is on approach to the coast. It will likely make landfall here within the next two to four hour period. And at that time, we're going to continue to see conditions, unfortunately, getting a little worse over time. So I'm going to talk much more about what you can expect here over the next couple of hours as the system. You can see it there. It's taking up most of the western Gulf of Mexico right now, and it is moving onshore pretty quickly. And with that being said, we're looking at a lot of rain now beginning to shift onshore. And unfortunately, this is going to lead to some localized flooding here in parts of Louisiana, especially east of the area. So this is what we're looking at right now. The eye about 50 miles to the south here of uh, Vermilion Parish, and we're going to see it continue to move off to the east northeast and likely making a landfall here within the next three to five hour period somewhere on St. Mary or Terrebonne Parish. That's where we're looking at this potentially making landfall. So let's zoom in a little bit closer here. We'll start in Lafayette where we are looking at uh, decent rain already this afternoon, this morning as well. But overall, the mo majority of this has actually been light rain where you see the yellow, orange and red colors now at the coast. That's where we're looking at uh, a bit more in the way of some of the heavier showers that are moving through. So again, for Vermilion Parish, we're seeing some moderate rains for you all over to Marsh Island. We've got the yellow and orange colors over us as well. This indicating that rainfall rates possibly up to an inch per hour. And this is now extending again east over into St. Mary and also over to uh, sections of Terrebonne Parish as well. So from Morgan City back up 90 back to New Iberia. This is where we're looking at some of the heavier rainfall setting up for us. Looking at the winds now that the storm is making its approach to moving on shore. We're likely going to see 50 plus mile per hour winds at the coast here if not already within the next hour or two and then those 70 plus mile per hour winds the hurricane force winds depending on exactly how this eye wall moves on shore here. That's going to set us up with these 74 plus mile per hour wind gusts and that's in those zones that are in the hurricane warning. So yeah, that's over from Cypress Point east over to Morgan City. That's the hurricane warning up to Baton Rouge as well. So while in the Lafayette area, we're not going to see hurricane force winds. We could see gusts over 50 miles per hour and that's strong enough to give us some power interruptions at times. So it wouldn't be surprised to see some of those sporadic power issues. It should not be widespread though with this type of a system at this strength and then quickly as early as midnight to 2 a.m. We're going to start to see those winds really dropping off as the system exits Louisiana and heads into Mississippi and by tomorrow morning we actually may be looking at a little bit of sunshine. So there's what it looks like here over the next 12 hours. We're talking about widespread rains, heavy rain setting up through midnight and then we're going to start to see these conditions improving significantly here as we go back into the next uh, couple of hours.